a Diablo Sport Trinity EX2 programmer. I'm going to show you uh, what's in the box. As you can see, we've got the actual program over here. USB cable, which we're going to use to update the programmer over here. Uh, we've got the windshield mount that it comes with. The OB2 to uh, HDMI cable over here, which we will be plugging into our OB2 and into our Diablo Sport tuner. Another thing that I thought was pretty fancy, not necessarily fancy, but I didn't really know about was for the 2018 to 2019 chargers, Charger Hellcat in our case, uh, or I'm assuming also the Challenger, you're gonna need this bypass cable. So I'll be showing you guys how to hook that up. Comes with some nifty instructions over here on how to actually do the bypass cable, as well as setting up our uh, Trinity 2 programmer. And last but not least here is the PCM for the Charger Hellcat, so that's a brand new one. So first step we're gonna do here, I'll show you guys, we're gonna go ahead and update this uh, Trinity 2 programmer on the computer and see if there's any current updates. This is what it's gonna look like when you plug the uh, Trinity 2 into your computer. First thing you're gonna do is go to your settings here and it is going to ask you over here, your Wi-Fi settings. So you'll go ahead and put your Wi-Fi settings into the uh, Trinity. And the next thing you're going to do is go right here and check for the updates. It's really that simple. So I actually did do uh, the updates before filming this little bit here for you. So you didn't have to sit here and watch the whole thing. Um, so there shouldn't be any updates that are needed. Perfect. So as you can see, there's no further updates done. That's all you need to do. Now we can move on to the next step. So as you can see, I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle of the car here, using a nice bright light. We're going to be removing one, two, three of these little push pins. All you really need is this little tool here. If you don't have one, they're super cheap, super inexpensive. I highly recommend getting one. The next thing we're going to do is just pull this panel down out of the way. And then if you look up here, over here, you can actually see where we're going to be plugging the bypass cable in. Apparently it's any open one. Seems that everybody's using the end. So we'll just wind up plugging it into here. And just like that, first part is done. So here's that uh, bypass cable that we've rooted through underneath the dash. Really simple, just feed it through there. Maybe with two people might've been a little bit simpler. And then we're going to go ahead and install this into our OB2 port. Just right over here underneath the dash. Push it up, plug it in, and we're set. Okay guys, this is the next step that we're gonna do here. We're gonna take our Diablo Sport. And as you can see, we've got it plugged into our OB2 uh, port connection here. I'm now going to be plugging the Diablo Sport tuner in. And this is with the factory PCM installed still. So right now it's my factory PCM that's installed on this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to read it. Okay guys, so unfortunately my last video there that I was trying to show you was using the Diablo Sport Trinity 2, you actually had to download the factory PCM first while it was still installed in your vehicle. So for some reason it didn't record. So we've gone over the steps now to disconnect the battery and going to install the brand new unlocked PCM over here in the corner which I showed you guys on a previous video. 
So we're gonna go ahead, get this PCM installed, and then get back to installing the uh, Trinity 2 tuner. Okay guys, we're just powering up the uh, Trinity uh, tuner right now after installing the brand new PCM. Let's see how she's gonna go here. So a real simple process, should be able to go straight into tuning. Says so turn ignition on. Asked if we'd done our updates, which we have, so we're gonna go ahead and skip this. Now we should go here to tune vehicle. It's going to give us a few options here. Hopefully you can see that. Looks like we got the Diablo tune, which I believe is a straight 93 tune, 91 octane tune, the LMI 93 tune, and LMI 91 tune. Modify stock tune, skip this module. Well, we've only got 91 octane here and I have uh, the intake on here. So we are going to do the 91 LMI leg maker intake install. I'm gonna go to transmission tunes as well. Performance trans tune. It's going to continue here. And then turn the ignition off. Press the screen to continue. It's going to turn it on again. So as you guys can see here, it's a pretty simple process, pretty straightforward, turning the vehicle on, turning it off, following the prompts that Diablo uh, Trinity Tuner is asking us to do here. Turn the vehicle off, press the screen to continue. So now we're going to go ahead and install the Trans Tune and the LMI 91 Octane Tune. Awesome. So as you guys can see here, the vehicle has been successfully tuned. I'm going to continue and see what the next step is here. We're going to go ahead and start this beast, see if she fires up. According to the instructions, we should car should start and idle. And then we've got to test for throttle response if everything is working correctly. Here we go. So good, everything seems to be idling. As you guys
guys can see. There's no illumination, no check engine lights as of right now. We're gonna go ahead and fire up some throttle here, bring it up to 2,000 RPM. Three. Drop her down. Back up to two. I just have a few minutes here just to talk quickly about uh, the new programmer we just installed. So I've been driving the car around for a couple days now and uh, everything seems really well. Again, no check engine lights, car idles really nicely. Uh, what I've noticed is definitely uh, a lot more torque down low. Uh, you can definitely feel it in the seat of your pants. Um, according to the website, I think you're getting about uh, 28 horsepower on the 91 and 30 or 31 on the 93 octane. So you definitely, you, you notice it. Where you're really gonna notice it most likely is at the racetrack, that's where we're gonna see the real numbers. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about too are just the uh, performance shifts that they give. I'm still not too sure about how I feel about them. Um, if you have a factory Hellcat, you notice when you're stepping on it in uh, track mode, it really hits the gears quite hard and quite firm. With this performance shift option here, um, it just seems a lot smoother. So I don't know if it's actually faster. Again, it'll be one of those things where uh, I'll definitely let you know once I'm at the track uh, how it feels and if it actually has improved time. And overall, I'm just really enjoying the gauge package that it comes with here. I like the fact that I can do some data logging here. So if I'm making any changes, I can look at it. And the biggest, probably most important thing about it is that uh, I can get this cartoon now so we can take it to the next stages but that's uh, a video for another day so um, with that being said yeah overall do I recommend this product absolutely if you've been thinking about it and you want to take your car to the next level this is uh, definitely the uh